Hey, I'm Anthony, and there's only one thing I like more than fishing, and that's catching. Welcome to OC Outdoorsman. Look at that. Look at that wing. Oh, it's so huge. Welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. Well, guess what? I'm back at Lake Hodges today. Here in Escondido, California. Temperature is 61 degrees. Air temperature, that is. Water temperature is at 73.8 degrees. So I'm gonna start by trolling a couple of lures around the lake, and then I'm gonna head over to the fishing spot. Here's a glimpse of the lure I'm using. I have two of these, one in blue and one in green. So we'll see which one they like better. I don't see more fish, but they're at about 20 feet suspended. I wish I had deeper diving lures. Man, a lot of fish here. But... Yeah, they're too deep for my lures. Should anchor down here. You know, I'm so used to fishing the ocean where I'm constantly I'm pedaling hard. Not good for lakes. I'm going way too fast, especially when I'm trolling. Man, look at this. I'm just barely pedaling. I'm going at 3.2 miles an hour. Slow down, slow down. A lot of fish here. Yeah, I forgot to mention that I overslept this morning. I stayed up way too late last night. So I didn't get up until around 7 a.m. I stopped to get some donuts. up my yak and launched. It was well out of my hand. But yep, there that's why they call it the fishing area. This is a no wake zone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna find a nice spot to anchor down and cast out some jigs. Alright, as you can see, I just beached my yak right here. I'm try shore fishing for a little bit. But, check that out. If you look out there in the distance, there are a lot of tulies. I don't know, about a quarter mile out on that, on the opposite shoreline. So, I may end up moving. I think I'm going to try fishing that section there. Looks like a good spot. Plus the wind is blowing the wind. If you notice I have a bobber out. It's just blowing everything to the shoreline. So this is not a good spot. Alright. And out of the fishing zone. Heading towards those tulies. But one cool thing about this lake. Check that out. We have outhouses out here in the middle of the water. Just in case you need to drop off some brown trout, boom, they've got you covered. Yeah, I may just end up anchoring in front of those tulies. See if there are any fish lurking about. That might be a good spot to smoke a cigar. It's about that time of the day, I think. Cigars, my lighter. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a good idea to have these windproof lighters, especially out here on the lake. As I mentioned in a previous video, that's what I love about lake fishing is it's a lot more relaxing. You can just chill in your kayak, smoke a stogie. Compared to ocean fishing where you're constantly working. Close to my bobber, that's a good sign. Where'd my bobber go? Am I on? Where'd it go? Oh, I am on. Fish on, baby. Pound test. Put it using that. Oh, really? Man, it's better than nothing. But even a bluegill can snap two pound test, so need to be careful sometimes. Okay, skunks off the boat. Man, he swallowed it. There you go, bluegill. There you go. Okay, I'm on the opposite end of the lake, but uh, if you feel it closely, it's really shallow. We're in like four feet of water and it's towards the middle. And look at all the sticks and other things that are sticking out from the surface. Very shallow here. That could be a good thing, but I'm not metering any fish here. I'm gonna venture a little further this way. Ooh, shoot, 2.9. It's getting awfully shallow. Yeah, this is the furthest I've gone down on this lake. Yeah, I pulled in all my lures, so I don't want to get snagged up on this. I've already lost one crankbait. As I mentioned earlier, I'd never been to this side of Lake Hodges. This is actually the west end of the lake. So what I ended up doing is I parked my kayak up ahead on that beach there. It was an ideal spot to launch my drone. So let's take a look at the west end of Lake Hodges from the sky. Enjoy. bobber something big and I was struggling to bring him in and uh, he broke me off oh, man you shouldn't multitask while you're fishing so 
I'm gonna have to re-rig this rod. At least I didn't use my bobber, but took my fucking sinker. Alright, I need to set the set everything back up. Man, must have been a carp. Had to be. Four pound test just broke me off. So yeah, I'm gonna have to retie my my whole rig. So well, I'm leaving the uh, this end of the lake. You know, I was on the beach and man, I stepped into a soft part of the sand and I my leg sunk knee deep into the sand. I mean, look at this. I'm just glad I didn't lose my shoe. And the wind really has picked up. And uh, I kind of regret not paying attention to my line. Lost a nice fish while flying my drone. Right now I'm throwing my last lure as I work my way back to the fishing area. As I make my way back to the landing point, you can see there are quite a few people just now beginning to launch their kayaks and other vessels. Now this would be ideal if you have a sail on your kayak. I think that's an outrigger right there. But right now, the conditions are perfect because the wind really started to pick up. Not the greatest day of fishing, but like I always say, when it comes to lake fishing, it's a perfect excuse to light up a cigar. So as you can see, the concession, the tackle store is now open again. This is the operating schedule. But they aren't selling shiners until next week, so couldn't buy a lot of bait today. Well, I definitely got my cardio in for the day. As you can see, I did over six miles on the water, and a lot of that was into the wind. But it was a lot of fun. Well, thank you for watching, and you'd really help out the channel by giving this video a thumbs up. Thanks again.